Hello everybody and a big welcome to Ilka Oster who is a level four tapping practitioner who lives on the Sunshine Coast in Queensland, Australia. I'm so excited to have you here Ilka. Welcome. Well thank you, it's so lovely to be here. And I'm, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'm really excited to be joining you. Wonderful. So yes, as you can see by my background, um, I've, I've tried to simulate the Sunshine Coast. Um, yeah. so, and I live there as well. And um, let me tell you a little bit about Ilka. This is how I started tapping. This, she was my very first session. She gave me a session and um, changed my life. So Ilka <laughs> is a level four practitioner. She is also a mentor to lots of tapping practitioners around Australia and the world. She went to Habilitat, the Drug and Alcohol Rehabilitation Centre in Hawaii, where she, she did a stint. And um, that was a real training ground. Mm. And um, the other thing she has done recently is joined the training team at Skills to Change um, Foster FTU Tactics where she helps make um, those important essential changes for all of us going forward. Yeah. So I'm so excited to have you here because I've got some big questions to ask you today. Um, and this is to help everyone out there because Ilka, I found that tapping is not a very well-known technique and yet it is so profound, it is so powerful. And so I'd like to start off by asking you, what has tapping faster EFT, faster EFT done for you personally? Uh, I think this is absolutely perfect timing. Uh, as far as what's going on in the world at the moment with uh, the corona thing, uh, I absolutely know that if this was happening to me five years ago, I would not be coping very well at all. I would be <laughs> going, going into major anxiety, fear, uh, I would be catastrophizing. I, I just would not have the skills that I have now to, I, I, I basically my life has not changed very much at all. Uh, and I, I've been, you know, the privilege of working with lots of people to help them. But my state of being, my mindset, my body, and how it feels inside is thanks to Faster FT. It's totally thanks to that. Um, I am like even doing this interview. I, I couldn't have done that five years ago. There's so many things in my life that have uh, changed, and I can do them in a really calm way. I really just just let's let's do this. Like yeah, but I couldn't before. So that it, it's it shows you. <laughs> That yeah, massive, massive changes in my life from oh. tapping. Yeah. So so good to hear. And um and I'd imagine you'd you would agree that one keeps on changing, one keeps on improving, because we're on this human journey. Yes. And it is full of emotion, it's full of people that trigger us situations. Would you say that we're constantly evolving and that we're constantly healing? Do you ever get to the stage where you healed? Yes. And no one triggers you? <laughs> I, I think you certainly get to a point where, and, you know, to, for me it's been a six-year journey. I wouldn't, I wouldn't, the first few years of tapping on myself, I certainly was still being very triggered by many things around me. But these days the trigger sometimes shows up, but my awareness of it is so great that um, and I have the tools to change it that my thinking about it is very different so so the trick has become almost like oh that's interesting I wonder what that is and then I go to doing the change work on myself I do my inner work so so as before I well in the beginning I just thought I was crazy you know so this is a major there's a major, major difference between me. The me of six years ago had beliefs that I was, I was flawed, I was not good enough, I was uh, wrong in many things. I just, and I could make myself feel bad for days. 
about this stuff, you know? And, and, then, and then because I couldn't change myself, I could make myself feel even worse because I couldn't change myself. Um, so, so I suppose the difference is maybe triggers never go and you're always going to a new level in your life. So you're always, you know, I can work with more clients, I can um, help more people, I can um, do more of the things that really light me up, like really tailor my life towards what's good for me and not feel guilty about doing that, which was a major piece as well. I just always felt guilty uh, if I was doing anything for Oh, I seem to have lost you there. So I'm just waiting till we get our connection back. Are you, are you there? Sorry. Oh, there, I've got you back. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah, there we go. I'll yeah. just, edit, I'll just yeah. edit that. I'll, I'll edit that. Yeah, it's okay. It's okay, okay. We, we're back again. <laughs> yeah. Okay. So, Ilka. As a practitioner, how would you describe what we do? How do we make, create change in people's lives? And how does it oh, show up for them? Yeah. How do we make because, change? Yeah, people want to know, what is this crazy tapping thing? You know, how is that going <laughs> to change my life? Honestly. <laughs> so what do you do in a session that creates change? Well, the, the, like, like with my own example, the biggest thing that was creating problems for me was my anxiety. And even bigger than that, which is what Faster EFT really addresses, is my belief system about myself. And, you know, we know in Faster EFT that all our belief systems start at birth. So everybody has them. <laughs> We've all, we've all experienced uh, growing up and from what we experienced in our childhood, that creates what we believe about the world around us. Uh, and so, and this is why nobody is crazy. Nobody, you know, I used to think I was crazy. But some of the behaviours I'd exhibit towards my children, I thought, well, where does that come from? Why do, why do I do that behaviour? Um, why does this bother me so much? And so... Faster of tea has a way of really addressing where the belief system comes from, but then also using tapping um, as a way of changing this belief on a very, very deep level uh, and changing how we represent our past so that we really, uh, yeah, everything is changing on the subconscious level which is extremely powerful and means that, yeah, I'm sitting here in the midst of... Um, a lot of, I know a lot of people are experiencing fear and anxiety and I used to feel like that. I, know, I remember what that was like to a certain degree, but it, it's gone to the point it's, I can't really even bring it back, which is, which is just, it, it's, ama it's amazing. It's a super uh, powerful way of living, isn't it? Yeah, it's, yeah. It's, it really is, Serene. It is so um, powerful. So can you explain to our audience what you believe now? Now that you've changed all those limiting beliefs, what does Ilka believe about the world now during this crazy pandemic? Well, I believe I am good enough. I totally am good enough. I'm good enough to be here. I'm good enough to be talking about this. And I believe I'm worthy um, of having, you know, a relaxed, happy life. I believe, um, what are some of the other, I'm wanted, that was a big one for me. Uh, so I'm, I'm wanted, I'm, uh, and, and this really goes back to loving myself. I, uh, I, I want, I want the, um, things for myself now. I make myself um, matter and I'm important. And um, even saying that in the past would have, I would have felt bad saying that because I don't want to trigger anybody out there to, you know, I had a lot of programs growing up where it's like, don't be too big for your boots, those kinds of things. But they crippled me to the point that I wasn't even able to help anybody <laughs> because I was too busy trying to help myself, you know, and, and just cope on a day-to-day -day level with my anxiety levels and, and, and being afraid that I might end up really depressed because that was in my family as well. So it, it's not 
it's not coming from a place um, people might be listening and thinking, well, <laughs> that's okay for you or whatever, but it's really coming from a place that I can say it and, and feel just, I just feel calm. I feel relaxed. I, uh, the outside world is not, um, for me to what, what people are doing, how they're being, I'm not responsible for that. I'm responsible for how I respond to things. Uh, I'm responsible for my own well-being, and therefore I can really empower others. Uh, and I've been able to empower so many people um, from from being able to empower myself. So it's coming from that place now, though, which is oh, so cool. That is, that's super cool. <laughs> it's very cool. And, and, um, and how lucky are your clients because that's, that's the gift that you give them or that you teach them to give themselves. Yes. So yeah. can you tell us, can you give us, without give, divulging identities, can you maybe just give us an example of a fantastic breakthrough moment that you had with a client? Because I know that I have some clients that are maybe struggling with depression and yeah. it can get, become a really deep place to be and where you have to really unknow yourself to, to get out of that depression. So yes. um, what is your take on that? Uh, yeah, well, your, pro your problems and your issues feel very real because you do feel them. So, um, but in Fast of Tea, as Doreen knows, um, depression, we call it a learnt skill. And I... Um, experienced you know depression with my gra my grandfather actually uh, went and had shock therapy when I was about 10 and right through to my adult life he was still doing shock therapy for depression and he was on lithium and my uh, father also was uh, experienced depression his whole life and took medication for depression so um, I saw many many ups and downs so I feel like and and it's part of the reason I'm, I started doing this work because one of my greatest fears was that I would end up just like them. And I had moments, of course, in my life where I felt severely uh, sad and depressed and, um, and then I would kind of pick myself up and, and keep going, but eventually I would usually burn out. So I, so I do understand and it feels very real when you're in it, very real. Um, so it's not to discount that, but the thing is, you, I had see, as you can see, I had some very good teachers. Uh, I witnessed my grandfather, I'd wit and, and then my father was, was, was affected by my grandfather's illness. And we wouldn't call it an illness, we would call it a coping skill in Fast Drive Tea, but they, they, would, they called it an illness back then. And so then my father think, you know, he's... he's um, doing that so so this is this is my kind of story i suppose with depression um i do understand it but the thing i wanted to say though was the other thing i understood as a child is that when my father had something fun to do like suddenly the bathurst races were on and his whole demeanor would change and he could have been in bed sick for three weeks and then all of a sudden he was okay and he could spend a week at the Bathurst races with his friends and be, and be happy. So I knew even from watching him my whole life that it was the mind that created, and in Fast Drift T T we say, the body follows the mind. And I, I had witnessed this so many times. It was more, the depression was with my father was probably more the up and down. My grandfather was more like, he would just go very quiet. Um, we, nobody could talk to him, all that, that kind of thing. So, um, so Fast Drive Tea is brilliant for depression. It is, it is amazing it, because it will change your, how you process things in your mind. And if you've had it in your past, nearly everybody I've worked with who um, gets depressed has had a depressed teacher. They've had somebody in their past who's um, really been depressed a lot and they've seen, or they've just been really tired and miserable a lot. Or they've had just what, like maybe a year where that person got really tired and miserable or some kind of, what we would call it an imprint where that, where that has happened. 
So you, Fast EFT is able to address that and change it. I don't have any memories of my grandfather or my father anymore where they're sad and upset. They're all like, if I see my father in my mind now, he is, he is happy. Um, he used to love comedy. So I always have him watching some of his favorite comedians. Uh, and my grandfather, I've totally changed as well. Like I, I just remember the happy things. Yeah. So, so, and so it's an amazing process in that way. And you've just um, highlighted something that we do in Foster EFT, and that is change memories. And yes. that is so powerful. And so how does that play out in our lives? Because I know personally I've changed those memories in the playground where I was alone, and um, it, it just shows up in my life as people <laughs> see me and people want to be with me. And... Uh, um, that was one of my things. So, yeah, what you got to say about changing memories. Oh, you've reminded me of one of my favourite uh, memory changes with a client, where uh, she had a memory from school, a, a similar memory, where somebody had left. Like when she was five, she'd lost a friend, and th and sh she had not until she came to Fast T, She really did not realise how big an impact that had had on her life because it had turned up everywhere she went and this feeling that she had that nobody likes me and that people will leave me you know so um so yeah the very next session that i did with her she had had an amazing experience of people coming up to her at um, a local event and 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 her being so surprised because she was kind of aware now of this program she ran of um, nobody talks to me and nobody, um, all that kind of thing. And she realised all these people were coming up to say hello and that, that, that the program's just a program. It's not really true. And, and mine, I'm not wanted. Like I carried that everywhere I went. If I went out to a, a, a dinner party, and I'm quite an extrovert, so people would not even know that I'm doing this. But when I leave that place in the back of my mind used to be, oh, I shouldn't have said that. And I, why did I do that? And oh my goodness, they're going to have, they're going to be talking about me about that. And I, and I would spend a week going over how I could have been better. I could have been a better person so that people would like me. I mean, it's exhausting to do that stuff in your head. I, I don't do that anymore. It's like, well, you know, I did the best I could when I was with you. Uh, if, if, <laughs> I, you know, and I also know that people have their programs now. So we're all doing the best we can. Um, when we meet, we, we be as kind and as loving as we can to each other. And then we you know, <laughs> go on. We don't have to, I don't carry this stuff with me anymore, which again is a major miracle because I, I, I occupied my brain with that kind of stuff all the time. And as you say, that's exhausting and, and foster EFT has this yeah. whole way of thinking um, that yes, I'm, I'm doing the best I can and I can't control COVID-19. I can only watch yeah. what I'm thinking and, and shining that light on those, those negative thoughts and go, oh, you know, remember that, that came from me, no, 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 and laugh yeah. at it. Yeah. And, <laughs> exactly. So yes, and it, it is so amazing. So. Amazing. What I, so then what I'd like to ask you is um, someone now who's watching this and they're learning all about tapping, what we do, how we change subconscious programming and childhood conditioning. Yes. What would you, how would you say, what should they do to make a start, to make changes? Where do they start? Well, there's some wonderful uh, free stuff out there about fast drift tea that um, I'm sure you also advertise on your page Doreen you can do the free seven-day course and really dive deep into fast drift tea if that's what you'd like to learn about and there's many tapping videos on there I think oh gosh our mentor who teaches us fast drift tea Robert he has uh, thousands of free YouTube videos so there's so much that you can learn. If I, I would really recommend, though, if people are 
feeling um, like that that's just too much for them at the moment. And uh, there's, I would reach out to a practitioner and you can find those on the uh, Skills to Change website. You can find all the upper level practitioners or you can reach out to Doreen and I. <laughs> um, both of us offer tapping sessions and I, I really do recommend that if that feels like it resonates with you because when I first started, you, you, you've got to understand if you grow up with people who are uh, teaching you anxiety as the program, then you think anxiety is normal. And it takes often takes somebody who's not a family member or not someone who um, is in that program because often our friends can be people who will um, just keep, you know, that we can keep our programs going pretty easily. So I, I recommend that you work with somebody who really understands how the mind works, which is what we learn doing Faster FT. And we really also learn how to um, not, not be triggered by a lot of things. So when you're working with a Faster FT practitioner, we're able to stay out of your stuff, like, um, and um, ask you questions and help you to empower yourself, like to pick yourself up. And that, that, was, that was certainly what I needed when I first started, because as I said, we call it like blind spots. I, I didn't realize that until the anxiety was gone, I didn't actually know it was there. So, because, because my whole life had been about that. I, I didn't really ever, I can't, back then I didn't, have a lot of memories of my life not being like that. I do now, and I've created a lot. <laughs> and so my subconscious is filled with all this amazing, happy stuff now. But back then it was filled with a very different uh, story of my life, which is what you will operate from. Yeah. yeah, and I think you're so right. You know, it's that anxiety that you don't know is there. Because I know yeah. when I did my tapping session with you, I realized I was running those programs of trying to please everyone. And there's a, there's a, a level of exhaustion to that. Trying to yes, but it's so part of your normal life. life. Yes, yeah. and I've, yeah. I've always been the little girl, you know, up until I started tapping. The little girl trying to please mom and dad, please the teachers. And suddenly yeah. you're an adult and you, you're still stuck in those programs. And it's so debilitating. Yeah. So I was yeah. really able to let that go and um, my whole nervous system changed. <laughs> so now I really notice when I'm feeling anxious. I'm, oh, hang on a second. This doesn't feel normal. And yeah. Um, yeah. there's something to tap on here. And that's what I love is you've got this tool, Ilka, that we can use on a daily basis if need be to just... Yeah. Say, let it go. Notice what it is. It's not mine, you know. Yeah. So, so do you yeah. tap often? How often do you tap? And, and isn't it embarrassing to tap in public? How do you do it? <laughs> Uh, well, that, that in itself is a program. I probably had that in the beginning too, to, that it's embarrassing. But these days I tap anywhere. It doesn't, doesn't bother me in the slightest. And I do tap often. I, I'm tapping a lot with clients these days because I'm on Zoom uh, tapping with them. So I spend a lot of my days doing this because I'm working. So I must be getting the, the benefits, just the relaxation benefits of that these days, which is awesome. Uh, but yeah, if I get a trigger come up, I, I definitely still tap or always, always. And that brings and, me and it always me. makes it better. <laughs> yeah, it always it always works. Eh? Yes. It, really it drops does. cortisol levels like, yeah. amazingly. I think yes. it's up yeah, to fifty cents in an hour. So yeah, so talking about the tapping you do on Zoom, now you run this amazing group called uh, Your Quantum Truth. Yeah, and you've it's just I've watched it grow and grow and your motto is power passion and possibility and that just sums life up for me it's like taking back your power it's finding your passion or, or following your curiosity because I don't like to put pressure on that I've got to have a passion some of us are just curious yeah. and just jump around but as long as we as long as we've been creative in some way in this life 
and um, and tapping into possibility. And when we're stuck in all that programming, you can't do any of that. So yes, true. So what is your intention for this group? If if somebody joins, well, group, I think what are they going to find? Well, I think, Doreen, can I use you as my perfect example? <laughs> yes. <laughs> Permission granted. <laughs> well, when I first met Doreen, um, I was absolutely blown away by her writing skills. Doreen was a journalist when she... <laughs> before she um, got interested, well, I'm sure you've always been interested in health and things like that, but before you specifically came to Faster at Tea, that was your career. And you are, you, to me, your writing was so brilliant. And I, I was like, like to me, especially with creative people, and I tend to attract these amazingly creative people into my groups. And, and it's like, let's, let's get you out there. Let's uh, make it that more people get to see what you write about or what you're passionate about or because um, often we can be creative, but then if we want to put that out into the world, uh, that becomes another, like that's another thing we need to start then work. That's when often we'll think we need to work on the programs because it's okay. You can keep doing it in your living room for the rest of your life. But if you want to actually reach a wider audience, and that's what my most of the people in my group are interested in, um, like they're, they're people like kinesiologists, I have lawyers in my group, I have uh, writers, I have artists, and they're interested in reaching a wider audience and also really stepping into their passion. Like one of my, one of my amazing clients, um, oh, she, she did like a nude painting at her um, university where the artists were drawing her painting nude. And I can absolutely tell you that she would not have been able to do that. She wouldn't have even attended university. She's written a testimonial on my page, which you can see. And she, you know, that, so these are the amazing things that happen. I've got so many stories like that. Oh. <laughs> people oh, step you. into their passion and live their passion and get paid to do it actually i think she got paid that day as well so yay <laughs> oh my word and you see this is where the real power is hey that's a big yeah. when you leave all yeah. that that conditioning and yes. behind that's when you can just yeah. give yourself permission to follow your bliss and yes. yeah, that's what I love about about your group, and and that's why I've also been um, focusing on at the moment on women that are just trying to find that next level of joy and purpose. Um, yes, yes. Because as we were saying, the body follows the mind, and it is incredible how um, when things when you're not happy and you're not living your best life, like we're here for a reason, to, to really live, not exist. And yes. when you are really living, oh my goodness, you're turning on oh. the parasympathetic nervous system and all the right hormones yes. and chemicals are being produced. Yes, and then, hello, yeah. immunity. I know, but then I was just remembering how you just, you decided then to take a whole group of women to the Camino. I was just oh. remembering that. Yes. So here was Doreen, she's, yeah, I'm going to tap and now I'm going to do this and now I'm going to do this and now I've got to like tap, bring in my other passion, which is walking, and then I'm going to bring in my other passion, which was interviewing a whole lot of amazing people that were along the Camino Trail. Those interviews were amazing. So you used your journalistic skills there, got them out onto Facebook. The whole world benefited. <laughs> <laughs> So, yes, so yeah. it's so you, yeah, yeah, it's no, I know that exactly. You know, sometimes you forget what you've done, but I yes. think the person pre tapping would have never done that, you know, that's, the, or, that's or what I want to, yes, or yes. I would have never said to my husband, Hey, I'm cutting down on my work at the pharmacy, yes. because yes, um, I do tapping at the pharmacy as well which yeah. I love and I interact with the, the customers and I'm helping my husband. That's our bread and butter. But yeah. I need that creative time for myself. So I was yeah. able to, through tapping, it, give myself the permission 
to do that. And as you were saying earlier, you start to really value and love yourself. And yeah. there's nothing um, shameful about that. Yes. You know, because your kids, yes. your kids get excited. And, yeah. um, you know, I mean, they, I they, like, see that you're, they see that you're happy. Yeah. I mean, most, most kids, their greatest wish is to, and I work with lots of parents too, and their greatest wish is always to see their parents happy. You know, that's it. You become a person in your own right. Your partner's yeah. more attracted to you. Your kids respect yeah. you. You, yeah. you know, you're setting the tone for, for their lives that, hey, when you get older, you can have a laugh. <laughs> yeah. Yes. Um, no, this, I think we, it's, and this is what I want to get out there today is that this is not just a funny let it go, let it go thing. It involves <laughs> so much more. It's, you, when uh, you sit down with a practitioner, they're really understanding what your problem is. We are like yeah. detectives and we're really working out where you're stuck and we're listening to yeah. your languaging and the, the metaphors and, and the people who you've learned from and we're helping you to shift all that so that you can go where you want to go. And, yeah. and when we're tapping, we're really just getting, tuning into that subconscious mind which is the tape recorder that takes it all in, isn't it, Ilka? <laughs> yes, uh, so so true, so true. Yes. Yeah, so, totally, totally. I know, it's so exciting. And one of the things that you have, that I learned from you, which I always love to pass on, is you have got a, another motto, which is keep creating miracles. <laughs> and oh my word, when you start to tune into that, you just see miracles all around you just yeah. because yeah. you've placed your focus there. So yeah. do you want to talk a little bit, bit about that? Okay. <laughs> yeah, that's how I finish all my videos on my in my group. Um, keep tapping, keep creating miracles. And we often think that we have to will, uh, that we have some kind of, uh will i think to like back back before i did tapping and before i uh like started this whole personal development journey i think i thought i had to bring these things into being and it was and it's stressful to bring something into being and it takes hard work to bring something into being and you know and i like all of this stuff that i used to have but tapping and the process i've been through in the last five years it's really just you just keep tapping things away and miracles just start showing up in your life so it's it's a very counterintuitive approach to it's not going out there and kind of um like doreen contacted me just before like this morning and you want to do an interview and i'm like yeah i've got this afternoon free and I, of course that would be awesome fun um so so this is how your life just starts to be on a daily basis i would spent the morning chatting with uh, my ladies and because i help parents as well and you know we we stayed on for about an hour later because I didn't have another session and they were, they were just happy because they're at home to have some uh, contact with another human, <laughs> another mum. Um, so, so we just chatted and we had, a, had an awesome time. And my life is pretty well like this all the time. Like it's just one, going from one awesome thing to the next. <laughs> and and uh, you, you know, that I, that I couldn't have even dreamed that was possible uh, before I, w I was so wrapped up in my it's everything's hard and I got a lot of pro approval for that too of course as a child so um, so these days things are in flow the miracle about my life and the miracles that keep showing up is because it is so easy and everything's in flow and even uh, just even when I'm doing sessions with people it's I mean, the funniest things happen. Like a frog just kept croaking the other night. Croak, croak, croak. And my client could hear it. So then we looked up like the, the meaning of frogs just for fun. It's not like part of what we do, but um, she wanted to do that. So we did it. And, and it was a beautiful meaning that brought, meaning that, of the spiritual meaning of frogs that brought something to her and meant something to her. So um, we brought that into the session. 
and um, <laughs> so my life is just it's so fun it's, it's very so playful fun. isn't it Jelka? <laughs> And with all the practitioners I know, you are the most playful. And that's what I thought it's such a delight to have a session with you because you instantly yeah. collapse a bad feeling just by, <laughs> just by working with you and your humour. So um, oh, thank you. Why you just reminded me as well when um, I went to Adelaide and, and you joined in some of the training there. And um, everything I said to you, you would say, that's just a belief, Darren. <laughs> and my head was spinning for that week. I'd say something else. That's just a belief. And I'd go, oh my goodness, how many beliefs are we carrying around? And how many of them like, are just really not useful to have? So, yeah. yeah. Yes. I said in our workshop once to a lady, at that same thing and she she met up with me about a week later at the the beach and she was like you told me only keep the beliefs that serve me and uh i was like yeah it's a pretty cool idea isn't it and she's like oh my god it's changed my world only keep the beliefs that serve me so yeah <laughs> i was working with someone who was so worried about every food they put into their mouth and it was yes. like, oh, this is bad for me. This is bad for me. And I said, do you know that that's a belief? <laughs> and I said, I believe that nothing, look, I, I eat healthy, but I do not obsess and think, oh, now I've just eaten that piece of chocolate and it's bad for me. Yeah. I think, gee, my body really felt like that. And yeah, I can be joyous. I can, can enjoy it. Yeah, it's, it, it's, it really is so powerful. And um, just to finish off then, yeah. how do people, like when we have a session, we're really removing a lot of negativity and um, changing problems, shifting people. So how do you use tapping to bring more positivity in your life? Can you use it as a tool, um, yeah. as yeah. affirmations to affirm things? to bring, attract things into your life? How do you yeah. do that? Or how would you advise people to do that? Uh, well, I always say that tapping always makes everything better. So if it's an anxiety or um, a feeling that you don't like or a thought that you don't like, it's going to, by tapping on it, it's going to make that better. But also, if you're having a wonderful experience and you can tap, you can kind of tap it in as an, as an imprint. Or, or I, and, one good one someone taught me was um, uh, more of this. It's safe to have more of this feeling, this good feeling. So um, it's safe, safe for me to feel like this more often in my life, every day of my life, you know, <laughs> tapping like that. So, yeah, you can certainly tap in affirmations for sure. Yeah, that's a great practice to be in. I have a list actually beside my toilet. And I have them in question format. So why is my life so awesome? Why am I always so healthy? Because that allows your mind to find all the ways that you can um, do that. And, and so, yeah, you can oh, that <laughs> definitely is tap on affirmations. Yeah, I guess when I'm walking on the beach, I tap in a lot. I'll, I'll do a tapping session on myself on something that's bothered me. And then yep. I'll tap in all those things. I'll end off by saying, you know, I love me. I'm amazing. I'm so lovable. Um, yeah. I'm so creative. I'm such a good writer. I'm such yeah. a good friend. Da, 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 da. And yeah. then you go and, and you start to live it. So, I do. So, yeah. I would so, encourage everyone to do that. It's a great practice to get into. Yeah. yeah. So, I used to tap it in the car. Yes. Like, <laughs> and you can do it. You can do it like mentally. But I would just tap like this. Yes. Right. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. As you say, you can just do it mentally. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Yeah. <laughs> well, Ilka, this has been such a fantastic afternoon um, chatting to you, my Thank mentor you. who I really respect and love. And there's my alarm. Thank you so <laughs> much for, um, for yeah. helping me put this video out there so that we can get the word out to more people yes. um, because really this is something you can do yourself once you've 
done it a few times, had a few sessions, you can really, and those are the people that really go on to succeed is to persistence, is to just keep tapping until things change. Yes. So thank you so much for um, all your amazing wisdom and advice today and for being the beautiful person that you are. Oh, and um, so Such a pleasure. I've hope we it. can do this again sometime. Yes, let's definitely do that. <laughs> You're awesome. Okay, everyone. Bye from the Sunshine Coast. Yeah. <laughs>